Today I got a brand new Acer Nitro 5 gaming laptop. I'm going to upgrade it. I'll show you how I do it. Hey guys, how's it going? Dale here. Today I got this brand new Acer Nitro 5 gaming laptop. I'm going to upgrade it. It is, the exact model is Nitro 5. It's an AN515-55-53E5. It's got the 10th generation Core i5 10300H processor. Comes with 8 gigabytes of DDR4 memory, which I'm going to upgrade to 32 gigabytes of DDR4. Comes with 256 gigabyte M.2 NVMe SSD. I'm going to upgrade that to a brand new one terabyte Samsung SSD 980 to Gen 3. And then I'm going to do a clean install of Windows 10. It has a GeForce RTX 3050 graphics with 4 gigabytes of GDDR6 memory. It's got a 144 hertz full HD display, which is kind of cool. It's got a red backlit keyboard and it has Wi-Fi 6. So without further ado, I'm not even going to turn it on. I literally just took it out of the box. I'm going to do that clean install. That's just the way I decide I'm going to do it. Less bloatware on the computer that way. The bottom is pretty straightforward. All the screws are the same length all the way around and in the middle. Uh, number zero magnetic tip Phillips screwdriver works really well to get them out. You can see I've already done that over here on my little magnetic board. Boom. All right, so then I'm just going to open it up. I'm going to put in the new SSD, and I'm going to do the clean, in the new memory. Then I'm going to do a clean install. I'm going to use a plastic spudger tool here. Get right in the seam. I'm going to start right along the front here. Be careful along the back edge there. It's a little, little stiff sometimes. But I'm going to pop that right in the seam there. And just drag it along. These pop up generally pretty darn easy, but sometimes they get stuck in the back there. So be careful because the uh, AC adapter plugs in the back right here, so I'm going to be careful around that as well. <clears throat> I'm going to disconnect the battery real quick so we're not dropping anything in here. Um, if you're real careful, you don't need to. But like I always say, um, protect yourself from static electricity, guys. Don't touch anything you really don't have to, okay? Um, so let me just disconnect Mr. Battery real quick. That's pretty simple to do on these. This little connector just slides back towards the battery just like that so we got the battery disconnected okay so protect yourself from static discharge I'm gonna hit the power button a few times here just to release any residual juice that's flowing around in there just to be safe all right so here's the 256 gig SSD right here from the factory these and here's a second slot right over here on the motherboard for another M.2 drive. Either PCI Express or SATA, it's marked right on the motherboard on both sides. So these are combo slots and here's a two and a half inch bay where you can put in a two and a half inch hard drive or two and a half inch SATA SSD and these nitros come with the cable right here in the box along with some mounting screws to mount everything you need in there. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and get this guy out of here. Pretty simple, quick little upgrade. Just be careful, be gentle. There's that guy. I'm gonna put the Samsung SSD 980 in its place. Right next to it is our Wi-Fi 6 card over there, you can see. I always misplace those M.2 screws. For some reason, they're so tiny. Now, these Acer Nitros come with on the bottom of the cover here, guys, they got um, a heat sink and a thermal pad on both sides for both M.2 drives, and these thermal pads line right up with the controller on the SSD. Now, if you want to get a little more elaborate, you can re you can remove those. They're held on with screws and go with a thicker, bigger, heavy heavy-duty copper heat sink and a thermal pad and some little bands to hold it on the drive. But I'm not going to do that. I've never had a problem with heat on any of these ever coming back, so I'm just going to go with the factory stuff. I'm going to carefully pop out this 8 gig stick, and I'm putting in um, some Team Group memory DDR4. It's their T-Force Zeus DDR4, they call it. I've used it before. It works well. Any, really any brand will work. 
Crucial, Corsair, Kingston, whatever. So now we got 32 gigs of RAM. We got that in there. Um, give me just two seconds. I'm gonna go do something real quick. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. Um, I'm gonna put the factory M.2 SSD back over in this other slot, as long as it's here. Might as well, might as well utilize it. I know it's only 256 gigabyte, because I'm not gonna be installing a two and a half inch drive over here. Like I said, most of these nitros come with a cable, the caddy and the screws to mount that in there. Like I said, here's the, here's the cable that it comes with. I'm just gonna give that to the customer. They can always upgrade later, put another SSD in there if they wanted to, or a hard drive. So here's, here's the um, mounting screw right here for this M.2 slot. It's over top of all this stuff here. I'm gonna get that out. I just took that drive over there and zapped it. I just don't want any issues. I'm just equip, equipped here to do it that way. So that's just the way I prefer to do it. But we're gonna install our windows on the one terabyte. different strokes for different folks if you want to do partitions and all that fun stuff you can certainly do that if you want so but this is where the windows is going to go now we'll end up with 256 gigabytes of extra ssd storage i'm going to reconnect mr battery here but like i said here's the wi-fi card right next to this let me carefully hook that battery back up now once you reconnect your battery be careful guys don't, don't be dropping or touching anything in there if you don't have to Gotta get this lined up in there just right. <clears throat> All right. So I'd be always be careful on the wires for the battery connector. They're very small and thin. Don't be pinching or ripping at them if you don't, if you can help it. So there, I think we're good to go. Like I said, I'm leaving this empty for the time being. Can always upgrade later, but we're gonna end up with about 1.2 gigabytes overall. Um, terabytes I say gigabytes sorry all right so we're good let's pop this back on do the clean install should go pretty quick hopefully and I'm not gonna put all the screws back in just yet until I know everything's good just in case Save me a little time and effort if I have to open it back up so let's go ahead and grab now I have a flash drive here with Windows 10 on it the 21 h2 edition I'll have a link down below showing you how to make one of these. You just download the Windows Media Creation Tool. You can use that, to make one for Windows 11, Windows 10, whatever. So let me just put this in. I'm gonna power it on. I'm just gonna start hitting F12. F12 will bring up the boot menu on these as long as it's enabled in the BIOS. That new RAM in there might take a minute for it to post, so be patient. It's reading the RAM. There we go. Come on. You always gotta be patient when you first turn these on when you're doing this stuff. Oh, looks like it's booting off the flash drive. Already. Didn't have to do that. So it just defaulted to, to the flash drive to boot from. So I'm just gonna choose United States. I'm gonna click install now. We just wanna make sure we install Windows. You know, on the drive you want Windows on. Could be the 256 and use the one terabyte brother stuff, vice versa. But in this case, I'm putting it on the new one terabyte. That's the way the, I told the customer I was gonna do it. So that's how I'm gonna do it. So you can see we got two drives here. Drive one is our one terabyte. So I'll choose that and I'll just simply hit next. And I'll let this get through guys. And then once I get into Windows, of course, I'm gonna get all the updates, throw some browsers on there. I'll download and install the Acer Nitro Sense app. Some people like to use that. Some people don't like it at all, but it's free to download for your fans and all that kind of stuff. But with 32 gigs of RAM now and, and the larger capacity, faster SSD, it should perform very, very well. Like I said, I've worked on a lot of these nitros, different types of upgrades, old ones, new ones. They're really nice gaming laptops. 
So when this is almost done, guys, I'll get back and I'll walk it through the setup real quick and we'll get into Windows and wrap it up. Hi there. I'm Cortana and I'm here to help. A little sign in here. All right, guys, I'm back. After it reboots the first time, you can pop out your flash drive. You just need it to copy the files over for the install. It shouldn't take too long here. If you need an assistive screen reader, press the Windows, Control, and Enter keys at the same time to turn on Narrator. Hopefully you can okay. see that already, guys. Let's dig in. Come on, Cortana. Your region is set to... Choose my region. United States. Do you also type with Going to skip additional layouts. Now let's get you... And I always choose with Windows 10. I don't have internet, that way I'm not forced to set up or log into a Microsoft account. You can change all this stuff later that I'm skipping over right here right now through the settings if you if you want. Okay. Now type No passwords, I don't do passwords. the settings Microsoft recommends. Go ahead and review them and select I usually leave the location on, but you can even turn that off turn that off if you'd like as well. Hey, look, that's me. Not now. Almost done now. We just need to get a few more things <laughs> polished up for you. And Windows. I must hear that about a hundred times a week. Forward to helping out. Thanks, Cortana. Yeah, I have lots of videos on different different upgrading methods in these gaming laptops. You could even do a clone if you wanted to. If you had lots of data, they're pretty simple to clone, depending on which brand drive you use. A Cronus True Image is pretty popular. There's other ones as well. Like I said, I have videos on just about all the different cloning methods. But being a brand spanking new laptop, I just I like the clean, bloat-free installs, just the bare minimums. Let the customer put their own stuff on it. But I will get all the updates. Like I said, the NitroSense, throw Chrome on it. And once I get into Windows here, I'm going to go ahead and initialize that 256 gigabyte that the factory put in because it's just sitting there waiting. <clears throat> there we go. That didn't take too long. About seven, eight minutes total. All right, it's going to look for drivers because I'm not connected to the internet, but that's fine. So real quick here. Uh, over here go to performance there's our 32 gigs of memory no problem I'm gonna right click on the start button here I'm gonna go to disk management real quick and there's our 256 gig drive I'm just gonna hit OK and then I'll initialize it here it's right here right click on it hit new volume here I'll just accept the defaults you can put any label you want on it. I'm just going through it quickly here, guys, to show you what's up. Did a quick format. So there, there's our one terabyte Samsung drive, and here's our other drive, but we can relabel these. We'll just call this Windows SSD. Oops. Again, you can call these whatever you want, guys. And I'll call this one just SSD storage. Boom. All right, so there. And we've got 32 gigs of RAM now. Should be a good gaming little laptop. Plenty of storage. <clears throat> Hopefully it was helpful. Don't forget to smash the uh, subscribe button, guys, and the like button. I'd appreciate it. Check out more of my videos. I got lots of them. And thanks for watching. Have a great day.